What's up everybody, Derek Anderson, the DA, and yeah, you can see right there, the Super Mario Brothers movie is absolutely dominating the box office right now, as many of us expected, okay? Based on those trailers, based on the buzz and the hype, we knew that this thing was going to absolutely take off. Right now, sitting at $678 million worldwide, good enough for number one in all of 2023, all right? So hats off to the folks at Illumination and Universal, because they have done what we have been saying that needs to happen happen in family entertainment okay tell stories that everybody can go and see grandma grandpa mom dad sis bro nest nieces nephews cousins everybody will bring the whole family together we'll go and watch it we'll go and watch it a second time a third time a fourth time okay because that's what family entertainment is about all right there's a lot of options out there for families to do stuff so if you want families to come to the movies you got to give them something that they can sink their teeth into something that's good for everybody in the family that everyone can have a good time with and that's exactly what the super mario brothers movie is all right the critics don't make movies for the critics okay stop making movies for the critics stop making movies for your woke friends in hollywood start making movies for the audiences okay the people that are actually your paying customers all right the critics and your buddies in hollywood are not paying customers okay so like get some business sense around you and i'm really talking to disney because disney is the one that should be doing these types of numbers okay with everything with their superhero content with even with their star wars content go focus on the actual audience okay and who gives a damn what the critics think okay the critics can hate it, but if the audiences love it, they'll show up in droves. Let's go ahead and check out this information on Deadline. Coming in higher than Saturday's projection for the full sophomore weekend, Illumination Nintendo Universal's The Super Mario Brothers movie has barreled its way to an estimated 678 million global running cube through today. Of that, 330 million is from the international box office. The second overseas frame is estimated at 94.1 million from 71 markets. This reps an amazing just 28% drop from last weekend's record setting opening. Look at that. 28% drop, that's for the international markets. Now, when you turn to the domestic market, it's still good, okay? It says here the domestic box office was a $87 million, repping a great, what? 41% hold off of a huge Easter weekend. Think about this number right here, 41%. You guys know, every time we talk about superhero movies and that big second weekend drop, we're always saying numbers in like the 60s, all right? Sometimes even getting close to the 70s, okay? The 70% mark as far as a drop of how much they made weekend over weekend or lost weekend over weekend, all right? And you can see this, 41%. That means that they got a ton of repeat viewers. They got a ton of repeat traffic. People came back and watched it a second time, all right? That's what's not happening with the superhero movies. That's what I'm always saying is that you got to focus on that second weekend drop. That first weekend, that's important, all right? But that second weekend really tells you what kind of movie you got and if, you're, if you've done the job, okay? If you've done the job. Nintendo is getting off to a great start with this Super Mario Brothers uh, movie because guess what? This just simply means that, oh, people are interested in the Nintendo cinematic universe whatever they're going to call it people are going to be interested in that and people are going to be hmm, okay if they did this with mario i can't wait to see what they do with zelda or metroid or kirby or Star Fox or any of the various games that are out there uh, uh f-zero you know with uh, uh captain falcon they're probably going to be all kinds of people looking forward to the next big announcement of whatever it is that nintendo is doing and look at this, Mario is showing no signs of quitting and is expected to get to the coveted $1 billion mark. We saw that from the marketing, okay? Everybody was hyped on the trailers. Everybody said, oh man, this trailer looks fantastic. I can't wait to go and check it out, all right? They're hitting us in all the little nostalgic feels and they're giving us a Mario movie that looks like Mario, feels like Mario. Oh, this is awesome, okay? The critics came out and said, oh, this thing isn't no good. But guess what? The critics aren't the ones buying the tickets, okay? Again, you got to sell it to your audiences, okay? Focus on who your audience is, all right? And, like, and I like this part right here. You know, they're talking about all the various countries that they went to see. And what's this last line? My godson here has been to see it at least twice, okay? So this writer is saying, yeah, my godson went and saw this thing twice. Again, that's what you're focused on when it comes to your family entertainment. I, I mean, Disney, you got to wake up eventually. Wake up and smell the damn coffee. Do you think Disney's going to wake up and smell the coffee? We saw this information come out yesterday. Disney suffers worst box office flop of 2022, all right? And guess what film that was, okay? Guess what film that was? Was it a Marvel movie? Star Wars didn't have a movie. That's right. Disney Strange World is a major box 
office flop. Not just a major box office flop, the number one flop of 2022. According to Deadline, Strange World was the biggest box office bomb of 2022 and lost Disney an estimated $152 million in total after deducting the revenue of $165 million from its $317 million in expenses. So they spent $317 million on this thing and lost their asses. That's hilarious. And it was not even the bo only box office bomb they had in the top five, okay? They also had Lightyear coming in at $106 million in losses. Why? Oh, why, oh, why? I wonder why these movies failed, okay? I wonder why these movies didn't do as well as everybody thought they should. Oh, I wonder if it has something to do with the same-sex kiss with the gay couple. I wonder if it has something to do with that. Again, grandma ain't trying to come and watch that. I'm sorry, Disney. You guys got to get out of that little woke bubble, okay? You think you're making all of these films for great audiences out there, and the audiences are just totally rejecting your shit. Why? Because they want to see fun stuff, okay? They want to see something like Mario, okay? That's what they're interested in. They're interested in Mario and Peach and Donkey Kong because this is stuff that families want to do, all right? I've already said in the videos, and I'll link it above, okay? I've said this so many times. Families are conservative, okay? I've said it before. I said it again. Families are conservative, okay? By and large, all right? Yeah, the little mom and daughter family, that might not be conservative, but large families, the folks that you want to come to the theaters in droves, okay? Big and small, those families are very very conservative all right and you got to focus on conservative values when it comes to your filmmaking all right and that means that you can't put all of the lgbtq agenda in there all right you see it's getting rejected in other countries left and right nobody's here for that all right i'm not saying that you can't have some films a a associated with that but it can't be family films families ain't gonna go for it i'm sorry Okay, people are going to reject that out of hand. That's what's been happening lately in Hollywood. All right, Disney lost their absolute ass last year. All right, what does this come out to be? $152 million here, $106 million. So you're talking about almost $260 million in losses. You lost money on this agenda. Okay, will they wake up? Will they wake up and smell the coffee? All right, will they finally say, you know what? Yeah, we'll we'll put that in some other content, something else for you know maybe older audiences. All right, but when it comes to the family entertainment, we're gonna just let that be family entertainment. All right, that's what Disney needs to do. But Super Mario Brothers is the lesson. Okay, this is the lesson: six hundred and seventy-eight million dollars globally. All right, in one film, Lightyear nor Strange World combined got to that. So you have to just sit back and just smile and say, see, again, we're right. You're wrong. OK, we know what we're talking about. Every time we come out and say, hey, you got to focus on the families. All right. You got to focus on conservative, more mainstream sort of content. Stop putting all of the agendas and the progressivism in there because nobody is here for that. All right. And you know, unfortunately, I don't think Disney's going to learn the lesson from this. I honestly don't think they will. All right. You know, Mario out here just dominating, wiping the floor with everything in the theaters right now. I don't think that they're going to learn the lessons from this. I'm, the, You know, we just got to get that progressive uh, LGBTQ agenda. We just, just got to tweak it a little bit. We got to tweak it a little bit. You know, our not-so-secret gay agenda, we just got to tweak it here and there and do little changes. We'll be just fine. We'll be able to do $678 million globally one day again. Nah, 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 nah. It's not happening, okay? Again. You got to stick to the script and you got to know your audiences. You got to focus on your audience and then you'll be just fine. But anyway, folks, what do you think about the Super Mario Brothers uh, box office doing absolutely bonko numbers? OK, dominating and Disney falling flat on their face. You guys go ahead, jump down in the comments. Let me know what you think about that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.